Okay, so this is the last video we are going to make on uh, solving the math workbook, math 111 workbook. Okay, so if today is your first day of watching our video, please subscribe. So question number 51 said that if 1 over 4 factorial plus 1 over 5 factorial is equal to x over 3 factorial, then the answer say we should find x. This is a very simple question. We know that 4 factorial means... 4 times 3 factorial, okay, plus 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So it's equal to what? X over 3 factorial. I want them all to be in 3 factorial. That's why I did this. Okay, so I have what? This is um, 1 over 4 dot 3 factorial. Let me keep it like this. Plus 1 over 4 times 5, 20. 20 dot 3 factorial is equal to what? x over 3 factorial so now the lcm of this and this is this big one is this 20 dot 3 factorial now when this divide by this i have 5 5 times 1 is 5 plus when this divide by this i have 1 1 times 1 is 1 is equal to x over 3 factorial this plus is to give you what 6 over 20 dot 3 factorial is equal to x over what 3 factorial if i cross multiply now I'll have that x stay in a loop, which this one go up. That is 6.3 factorial all over 20.3 factorial. This take care of this. So I'm having 3 over 10 as my answer. So my x is simply 3 over 10. So we'll go to question number 52. Question number 52. So question number 52 said um, 52. Okay. So, so question number 52 said, um, so let's check this again if there is an error. Don't think there's an error anywhere, okay? So question number 52 said, they said there are, there are 10 girls, there are 10 girls who entered, who entered a boat with, 12 seats, comma, 6 on, 6 on each side, each sides. then in how many, in how many ways can, can they sit anyhow, okay, anywhere, okay, solution, this is simply arrangement, we are arranging 10 girls to see 12 seats. So that is 12 permutation 10. Very simple. That is 12 factorial all over what? 12 minus 10 factorial, which is a... <coughs> Sorry about that. 12 factorial all over 2 factorial. So do this and get your final answer. So I hope you know that 12 factorial means 12 times 11 times 10 times um, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial all over 2 factorial this they cancel this so do that and get your last answer so we move to the next question which is question number 53 so question number 53 question number 53 said that we should show that show that that n plus 1 permutation r plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 um, sorry, is equal to n plus 1, then n permutation r. Okay? So, first of all, let's see what n permutation, n plus 1 permutation r plus 1. Let's see what it will give us. So, this thing is same as what? n plus 1, all factorial, all over what? Uh, r plus, sorry, all over n plus 1 minus r plus 1 factorial which is what n plus one factorial all over uh n minus r factorial because if you clear the bracket this time this will give you minus this minus this so one minus one is gone so um, i know that this one gave us this so let's see what this one will give us this one is n plus one then n permutation r which is what n plus one into this is n factorial all over 
n minus r factorial okay so now this thing is the same thing now you know that this thing is the same thing i say you know that this thing is the same thing i say n plus one into n factorial n factorial then n minus r factorial so which means this is the same n plus one factorial all over n minus r factorial so which is something as n plus one permutation r plus one so they are equal right so you can watch my video on permutation and combination for you to understand it better uh, so question number 54 question number 54 said um, in in how many ways in how many ways can we arrange the letters the letters in the word the letters in the word r h o rhombus okay solution now rhombus is how many one two three four five six seven that is seven factorial there is no repetition of any word so it's just seven factorial that is seven times six times five times four times three times two times one so get the answer no word is repeated so but if any word is repeated we divide it by that uh, number of words that is repeated so you can check my video on permutation of uh, the arrangement of uh, uh, alphabets to get that so question number 55 question number 55 said in a box in a box comma there are there are seven blue blue pens comma five yellow yellow pens comma and six green pens full stop they don't say in how many in how many ways in how many ways can three blu three blue pens comma three yellow yellow pens and four green pens be chosen okay now anytime you get to choose choose means uh, combination why arrangement means permutation so solution if you want to choose for blue we are choosing three blue out of seven so we have seven combination three times we are choosing um three yellow out of five yellow so i have five combination three times we are choosing four green out of uh, six green so i have six combination uh, four so do that and get your answer so this is seven factorial all over three factorial then seven minus three factorial times five factorial all over three factorial five minus three factorial times six factorial all over four factorial six minus four factorial so finish it up and get your final answer okay so this is seven factorial all over three factorial four factorial times five factorial all over three factorial two factorial times six factorial all over four factorial two factorial so finish each of them get your answer then multiply it and then get your final answer for that so question number 56 question number 56 said using using pascal pascal's triangle okay expand expand 1 minus 2 x raised to power 5 now according to pascal uh, the coefficient for 5 let's check this is 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 1 5 10 10 5 1 1 so according to pascal for 5 i'm going to use 1 5 10 10 5 1 so i have what um 1 okay this is the the boy and this is the girl according to my video you can watch my video on binomial expansion you understand it perfectly so one this one is this one here then if i take this one this one will be raised to power five y the minus two x will be raised to power zero 
plus i'm taking the first one the second one five this one now will be raised to power four okay come out then minus two x will be raised to power one that is how we will keep moving david shift So that is how we we'll keep moving. Okay. Plus the next one I'm choosing is 10. 10. This one will be raised to power 3 now. And then this minus 2x will be raised to power 2. Okay. Plus the next one is 10. This one will be raised to power 2. Why the minus minus 2x will be raised to power 3? Then we will now have plus 5. This one will be raised to power uh, 4. Sorry will be raised to power 1 and then minus 2x will be raised to power 4 then finally finally we have 1 then that 1 will be raised to power 0 and then minus 2x will now be raised to power 5 okay i hope you are seeing that so this is equal to anything raised to power 0 is 1 anything that is raised to power 1 is raised to power anything is still 1 so 1 times everything here i have 1 okay so plus minus is minus i have minus uh, 5 times 2 is 10 10x okay minus squared is plus so i have 4 here 4 times 10 is 40 so i have 40x squared so what do we have here this is minus 8 minus 8 times 10 minus 80x raised to power 3 okay minus 80x raised to power 3 then then here i have 16 16 times 5 16 times 5 16 times 5 i have 80 again plus 80 x raised to power 4 then finally minus 32 x raised to power 5 so that is the answer to that question we move to question number uh, 57 all right Question number 57. Question number 57 said, it said, find the coefficient. Find the coefficient. Find the coefficient. Find the coefficient of x raised to power 3 in the expansion. In the expansion i'll beat you in the expansion of one plus two x raised to power six okay so if you come to this place now what does it mean solution now anytime you are finding a particular term okay we use a formula that says uh n combination r a raised power n minus r b raised to power r so if you look at this, my a is equal to 1, okay? Uh, my b is equal to 2x, and my n is equal to 6. So the only problem is I don't know is my r. So let me put the ones I already know. If I put the ones I already know, I'm going to have, um, this is um, 6 combination r, okay? Then 1 raised to power 6 minus r, then I have 2x raised to power r. Okay, so now this is um, C's combination R. One, one raised to power anything is still one. So I'm left with two raised to power R and then X raised to power R. Okay, and they say we should get the coefficient of X raised to power 3. So which means X raised to power R is equal to X raised to power 3. So therefore R is equal to 3 if this take care of this. So if you put it back here, you're going to have that this is 6, six combination 3. Okay, two raised to power 3. And then x is to power 3. So which is what? Six, so do this. Six combinations. This. Get the answer. Times 8. This is 6 combination 3. Times 8. Then x is to power 3. So the coefficient is simply these two. Get the value of these two. That is the coefficient. Okay? So get the value of the two of them. And that is the coefficient. So we'll go to question number 50. 